The next one up on the list here is Goodbye. Yes. I think that's one of the epic songs on the album. Oh, thank you. I recorded that just after Manny passed away, our producer Manny Charlton of Nazareth. He sadly passed away in 2022. And actually, he was supposed to play on this uh, this album. I'll come back to that in the next song we're going to do. But, but anyway, when we were sitting in the studio the last time, that was in February 2022, he played me this song. It's a Steve Earle song. Yeah. And... Uh, you know, he said, this is a perfect song for the Fluffy Jackets to cover. He says, well, you know, you have to do this. But then in my mind at that time, I wanted Manny to work on two other songs that I was working on. Uh, but unfortunately, he never got to hear those songs because at the, that time they were finished as song structure goes. So yeah. we didn't actually record those. But we did do a very rough, quick recording of Goodbye. Mm -hmm. And after Manny passed and, and his daughter, Vicky, she approached me uh, and we, we had, uh, you know, a conversation with her and, and it, it was very touching, obviously, um, because he, you know, it, it kind of reminded me the last time I was him, with him. He, he says, well, why don't you play this song, you know, or, or record this song? And I listened back to it again and it had like that feeling of saying goodbye. So I don't know if Manny already then thought about that. But it's something that sort of struck me much later. But anyway... Mm. Uh, I, I thought I have to do, you know, many justice and, and record this. So I, I just had to do it. And, and lo and behold, it turns out to be one of my favorite songs on that album. You know? When you hear it, there's just something about it that there's an emotion and feeling in it. You think, yeah, this is, this is epic. Neil Murray actually plays bass on it. And he, he I know he put his heart, his heart and soul into it. He, the first bass you hear is a sort of fretless bass. Yeah. Uh, and the second one is a, is a fretted instrument. But um, both are from the 60s, actually. They, they, he used some vintage instruments on this. He, he told me the bass sounds great on it. It's a lovely, lovely bass line on it. So. And mm -hmm. the drummer, uh, Mattia Baital, is, is a professional drummer from um, Croatia. He's, he studied at the music academy there. He's, Right. And he, he plays some beautiful drums on this from the hi-hats and everything he does. It's really, really good. So, I, yeah, I, I'm happy with how it turned out for sure. Remember if we said good. 